welcome back YouTube today oh they left the seat belt holes on open so we are going to open them up because I want to build these a seat belt. I don't often wear my seat belt in the tractor, but sometimes conditions. Are such that one wants to wear it. Plus, keeps the tractor. With all the factory components, although this is not a factory John Deere seat, nor is it the proper color, but brown seats are no longer available from John Deere, and this seat come from shoot manufacturing. I have been very pleased with everything I've bought from them. I buy a lot of drill parts, planter parts. <clears throat> At least here in North Dakota, they ship Speedy, which is a very short shipping time. And if you buy $200 worth of parts, you get free shipping. So we'll get all these brackets switched over. I need to move these now. One thing I did notice, which had me a little concerned, but there was no need to be concerned. The factory seat, which you can see is well worn, smushed down, but <clears throat> there's four mounting holes and looking at these this distance was the same as this which I thought oh great now things are going to be offset and it's not going to work right however after measuring off of the side to here side to here it's this hole and this hole that match this pattern so the offset does match the factory offset. It is the same on this backrest as well. So we'll get this out of the way.
and we are just going to snug these up finger tight so we get everything bolted together but as you can see this is offset to match the offset in the seat and I believe I went the right way would assume that seam is in the middle guess we'll find out soon enough the other thing that I'm going to change is there's another set of holes here that's going to raise this armrest and I want to try that because I have a long torso and I think it might be more comfortable we'll find out but the padding all appears to be nice and firm thick as you can see here that's quite narrow compared to there And for whatever reason, on the back of this headrest were there these great big rings. And I'm not exactly sure why. However, that's how we're going to put it back together. I believe this cushion set was in that $150 range. And thicker seams are different it's actually just slightly larger at two but I guess we'll put these rings on I think I'll go ahead and cinch this one down. So I'm off to the tractor. We're going to try to hook that in there and hopefully it all fits. I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. Fortunately, I barely fit trying to get underneath that seat. I don't think I can take you along. So as you can see, <clears throat> the new bright shiny yellow seat is in my dirty filthy cab. But it's in. Cushion feels firm. Everything lined right up, bolted up, and should be far more comfortable than having one cheek hanging out where there's no foam. <clears throat> the other issue I had was this uh, suspension on the seat, like to bottom out. And yes, it doesn't help that I have a hitch pin hiding under the seat, but that wasn't the problem and let me grab a light here i was not aware of it but i know now 
that stud right there takes a half inch socket and that's your spring tension for your seat suspension um, all that lever does there is change the cog positions as far as the seat position forward to back which is on an incline so if your seats bottoming out at least on the 4030 I assume the other early 30 series are the same way snug that up a little bit I just turned it several turns I ended up putting my ratchet or cordless ratchet on it all right thank you for watching I appreciate it